What's up guys, it is the captain speaking and uh, in case you still need some clan games rewards, I got the solution for you guys. As you can see, clan games are about to start and one day and 12 hours from where I'm recording this, probably a couple hours less from the point where it's going to be uh, online, but hopefully pretty soon. So yeah, I just want to make a quick video for you guys. I'm also, by the way, going to show you some nice war attacks. Um, after I get done with my announcement, in case you want to see some quality Clash content. Um, so yeah, let me talk about this real fast. So yeah, the clan games are starting and I am in my uh, clan over here, Clash Craving, obviously, as you can see. And as you can see, there is five slots still open in the clan. Realistically, it's maybe probably more like six or seven. But what I'm trying to get at here is we have a couple of spots left. Um, to fill the clan up and uh, we would like to have a pretty full clan for clan games um, that's gonna obviously make it easier to score 50,000 points although I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue for us at all we've got a lot of people here who are gonna play the games very actively so in case you want to get the maxed clan games rewards as well which we are going to get feel free to join the clan um, there's just a couple of um, I don't know, I'm missing the correct word right now. Just a couple of things I would expect from you. First of all, you have to join the Discord server so I know I can trust you, I can talk to you, I can like, uh, yeah, reach you whenever I need to. Uh, it's not a big deal in my mind. Uh, it's pretty standard nowadays and also like, yeah, for competitive players, for example. It's just common sense to do that. And then you have to score a thousand points. That's the second condition. I guess condition is the word I was looking for. You have to score a thousand points um, in order to, yeah, not make me angry. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. You want to get 50,000 points. So if every member gets a thousand points, we have 50,000. So that's pretty simple math right there. So in case you want to play clan games in the clan, um, I mean, you can join the clan for good also if you want to, but it would also be fine if you want to join it just for the clan games but once again i have to be able to trust you so you have to join discord message me on discord tag me on discord whatever and um you have to score a thousand points i don't think that's very tough the clan games are probably going to be like six days or something that's what uh, it was last time i think so um shouldn't be too tough to get a thousand points in six days if you really want those max rewards and in my my opinion like if you if you would ask me, if somebody would tell me, yo, you score a thousand points, you get max rewards. Sounds pretty good to me. So I think it's a pretty fair deal. So if you're interested, once again, we have like five to seven slots open right now. Message me and um, yeah, you'll be able to get the max rewards. But now, guys, I want to show you some. Uh, actually, let me go back here to the profile. As you can see, we've got a nine war winning streak right now. We're actually still undefeated since we started up the clan or like since i took over basically um so yeah the clan warlock is looking pretty sweet right here as you can see this road down there i don't notice that i wasn't in charge back then but yeah nine straight wins so that's definitely pretty nice so pretty convincing ones as well but the last war just ended and i want to show you guys a couple of attacks from that 54 to 52 stars against destino final who are actually um pretty good clan i think they are yeah spanish there we go um and they matched some uh good clans recently um as well and they had some some pretty decent bases like not uh, complete farm war bases so i thought it was going to be interesting for you guys to watch a couple of uh, our attacks right here we have a 12v12 uh, two 12v12 triples actually we had two 12s on our side as you can see right there i was playing on a 12 as well and two 12s on uh, destino final side but let's start a little bit further down um get you guys some of the yeah quote unquote lower level content as well we actually had a couple of pretty good hits here from matic i know which attack i want to show i just don't know which one it is okay this is the one right here and I want to show you guys because I thought it was a pretty interesting army. So we're going to be watching a nice little 9v9 in 2019, guys. But no, um, it's actually a pretty nice attack. So let's go ahead. And yeah, it's a decent base right here. Um, he's using the party wizards. As you can see, party wizards so much stronger than the normal wizards. I mean, basically, 
even the normal wizards, you think about the troop, um, and it's the squishy troop that's supposed to do damage, yeah? And the, what do the party wizards do? They just, like, they are even more squishy, but they do even more damage. So party wizards are, like, in my mind, at least clearly better than normal wizards. Of course, they're going to be gone soon, but, yeah, while they're around, definitely use them over the normal wizards. And also, if you don't have the normal wizards leveled up, that's pretty nice as well, because the party wizards are always going to be maxed out for your tunnel level. So, um, Matic is going to be... Or he did already actually take out a couple of air defenses right here with uh, three lightning spells, I guess, and an earthquake. Um, so yeah, once the or if the air defenses are close together like that, you can do that. And then I I actually watched his attack live, guys. I saw the e drag come out of the CC, and I was like, Electro Dragon at Tunnel Nine. Like, what is what is up with that? Like, ten out of ten doctors would not recommend it. That was my first initial thought, but. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong. By the way, sorry for missing the beginning of the Lalo here. I should have known because I actually know this attack. So the e drag actually getting some nice chain value there in the middle. He gets a little bit unlucky with his Lalo or he didn't place it properly. I'm not sure. Uh, the air defense stays up. He, of course, meant to take out both of those air defenses. Dragons and the Electro Dragon are, of course, going to have no problem killing the enemy queen in the middle of the base. And we're gonna go times two for the rest of this replay because it's pretty much him just cleaning up the Tesla farm and then the rest of the trash buildings here actually times four speed. So very nice hit by Matic and in case you are still playing Tunnel 9 um, at this point in time, definitely feel free to try out this army if the air defenses are like this. Uh, it definitely was a very good attack and a very fun one to watch as well. Up next we're gonna be watching some 10v10 action and we've got Sherlock Nidoran who has actually been killing it. And look at this army, guys. I haven't even watched his attack yet. I know that he tripped with his second attack as well with a nice little Queen Charge Lalo. But this one is, of course, like even more fun. Queen Charge Baby Dragons, guys. Um, I didn't know him prior to him joining uh, up at, uh, in Clash Craving here. But he's clearly a very, very good player. And yeah, It's just nice to have quality, like to play alongside quality again. Yeah, like... I've been playing in casual clans for so long. I mean, we're still pretty casual. We're not taking it too serious. Like, we don't have any crazy requirements. We don't do, like, like some... Okay, so some guys I do voice plan with, but only if they request it. Like, I don't force anybody to do voice planning or something like that. Like, we're keeping it pretty casual. But still have some quality players in the, in the team. And, like, it's just fun, honestly. It's just fun to be alongside quality players again. See good attacks good plans like even if they fail it's, it's just fun and yeah so far it's working out i mean as i mentioned we are undefeated uh so far like under my reign if you will um but uh yeah um i, I as, as i already mentioned i'm not even doing that much like i'm obviously like giving them a little bit structure and like making some announcement on okay tunnel nines uh, if you are going to do like the up hits on the 11s, get 51% and lure the clan castle and stuff like that. So some things, but like small things. And yeah, it's pretty much the the players themselves that uh, we are lucky enough to have that are absolutely killing it. So um, he's putting these loons in the corners here. He checked for a troll Tesla there and then he's also checking for seeking air mines. The slammer is going to be coming in. The queen is already taking out the third air defense. As you guys probably saw, he did a nice little uh, trick there with a the free spell to save basically, yeah, like one rage spell. I mean, uh, he only has a no limited number of spells, obviously, so he decided to bring um, free spell. Very cool entry also with the earthquakes. Uh, I actually missed that in the beginning of this attack. We've see we see another electro dragon coming out of the clan castle here, so clearly a very, very popular clan castle troop at all tunnel levels. We've got two, two troll teslas with the town hall interesting the queen is still alive she lost a couple of healers already which is to be expected if you're gonna charge this deep into a base but um yeah she still has enough power to take out the inferno which is definitely big and then of course he also needs her to take out this last air defense which she's going to be able to do and then we've got like five baby dragons left and the electro dragon as well the baby dragons are so strong even when they are not raged they have like plenty of hp to like overwhelm some teslas like in this case stuff like that and he also still had the queen ability so beautiful beautiful stuff by uh, nidoran and uh, also he did six packs so shout out to him for that very nice performance and i think a lot of the guys were also happy like i was definitely happy to see some proper bases but i think a lot of these guys were also happy to finally have a little bit of a more serious war again like see some proper bases and not attack farm base all the time because that can get pretty boring as well obviously for 
good players. So yeah, let's watch an 11 v 11 attack. Um, I think. Oh yeah, this is the one that I wanted to show you guys. We've got a uh, my co-leader actually, my co-leader um, Jonas coming in right here, and he's also doing very very well. Uh, doing a great job with helping me out and he's gonna use the good old uh witch slap uh, attack strategy right here um classic witch slap something i don't see a lot anymore but as you can see it can still triple it can still be very powerful uh, a lot of the times we see the bat uh bat slap stuff right now the battle ram actually opening up this middle compartment here, which is going to enable the queen to take out the bottom inferno, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she's not going to go for it now because the clan castle troops are there. I don't even know if she can reach. No, she can't reach it. Okay, yeah, that's my bad, actually. I don't know if he thought he could reach that or not, but yeah, the multi inferno is definitely going to stay up for now. But the jump spell is actually going to allow access to it now. Okay, so. Yeah, jump spell. The eagle artillery is pretty far away, so it takes a while for him to take it out. So the eagle artillery gets off a couple of shots, but then he actually has so much power. And look at this, guys. Level 37 king in there, so not even a max out army. Also, his warden is only level 15, so um, yeah, can be tough to be uh, yeah, like missing those hero levels, but he did a very good job, clearly. And applies the witch slap successfully to this, uh, to this army here, and considering it is witch slap, it's quite an overkill as well. Like a lot of troops left i see four witches one bowler there's definitely plenty of tanking for the queen to take out these final buildings guys let's just cap it off with one high level attack 112 versus 12 triple two tower 12s on the opponent and the captain was actually able to take out both of those so i had a pretty good war for myself as well for this one though that i will show you guys on this max out base i have to give a shout out to muffin my boy Muffin from j uh, who is, uh, of course, always killing it whenever he's warring, right? And uh, he actually gave me the idea for this plan, or basically he gave me the plan. I told him, yeah, I want to do this. I want to switch to Town Hall and then do some Lalo. And he said, yeah, but you can also do Mass Hawks. Maybe you want to try that. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go for that. So as you can see, guys, the suicide Mass Hawk Skelly uh, Queen Kill attack here. King for King, which is, of course, pretty nice. So my queen is not going to have to worry about that. Air defense is going to go down. Very, very easy suicide here for the town hall. Obviously, no free spell or anything required. Scary trap coming up scared me a little bit. So I decided to pop the uh, ability pretty early right there. And then I was like, ah, maybe I can save the queen with some hogs here. So I decided to start the hogging. Slammer coming in over at the top. Goal was to take out these three defenses and create some pathing. And yeah, the Hawks actually did manage to shield the Queen for a little bit. The Archer Tower is going to go down right there. Heal spell coming in. The Baby Dragon was a little bit scary for me. Um, so I decided to use a Poison and Free spell there. Poison spell looks like it actually ended up catching the Skeleton Trap as well. So that was definitely a little bit lucky. Second Heal spell. Ugh, healing up a grand total of like three or four Hawks there. So not the best um, scary spell I ever dropped then. Uh, for the queen, I went for the uh, went for the double skelly and freeze freeze just to reset her to not have her like follow any hawks and uh, yeah jump away from the skeletons. And then it was a little bit weird for me here because the hawks split up so much. I didn't really know where to heal. Drop the heal on the bottom group of hawks. Actually, I think it would have been smarter to save the heal and drop it like now on the top group because it was a lot more hawks. And they were a lot more healthy. But actually, the bottom group there did manage to take out the. Inferno, so that was good. I sent my cleanup miner in here for the wizard tower because I saw the skeletons in the middle and I thought I wouldn't need the miner for cleanup. So I tried to uh, damage the wizard tower. And then two Teslas left. We've got like five or six hawks, I think. And the warden is, of course, also helping out. So yeah, actually, uh, relatively convincing. And also, did you see how the queen altar died in the middle? That was so funny. The loon actually caught seeking air mine there and dropped right on top of the. Um, the queen altar so that was cool and yeah uh, it wasn't close on time either so pretty nice pretty happy with this one always of course a good feeling whenever you are able to six pack and help out the team a lot so yeah the clan wars are going well right now and looks like we still haven't matched we are spinning smaller breakdowns obviously like 20 25 uh, uh, right now and uh, the matches definitely take some time so 
would love to spin bigger. Uh, we have actually 45 members, but a lot of them are upgrading heroes and stuff like that. We could definitely use a couple of active war players. So if you're tunnel 10 or above uh, and you want to war with us, feel free to join the Discord and message me and you can join it up. So yeah, anyways, guys, um, that's going to do it for today. A nice, nice little clash video in 2019. <laughs> it's just going to continue to be a meme. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make videos whenever I feel like it. Whenever I'm having fun doing it right now. I had actually a blast making this. So I hope you guys uh, did get some positive energy from this. And you enjoyed the video. Let's go do it once again. If you need Max Clan Games rewards. Join the Discord. Hit me up. And we'll get it done. Until next time. The cap. We'll see you all later. Peace out.